you are a prostitute you are lazy you are an ex-convict you are a lizard when we are talking about people that should talk you don't even compare what nonsense better go meet your gigolo husband because i was not even trying to look for violence you are the one that started this now you've set up ring lights for me and you think i'm not going to talk by the time i wear my black bonnet for this <clears throat> this lady please aunt, let me just wear my bonnet for her because at this point she has called for it and i'm ready to give it to her you know me you know me and when this drama starts officially she won't be able to deal hmm Guys, I'm not ranting, no. <laughs> I am telling you what Iyabo Ujo has said to Lizzie and Jory. Yes, there is drama again between... No, not, I don't know if it's again, but there is drama between Lizzie and Jory and Iyabo Ujo, who are both Nollywood actresses. Now, Lizzie and Jory has had feud with people over the years. The same for Iyabo Ujo. I know that both of them, when they are fighting somebody, they go all out. But now that both of them have decided to face each other, what is going to come out of this because what i said earlier was what yabo just said lizzie and jory replied lizzie and jory said you're also a prostitute me i'm having sex with one man me, I, I have sex with one man, just one individual at a time you have threesome with your parents in the house with you and your children in the house you invite the pastor to your house you have threesome with him you say you bought a house meanwhile you list the house you've been trying to be like it all your life you wear gold that is rented me i wear my one of a kind gold you don't have a man to marry the person you are even parading as your boyfriend you says he can never marry you says he cannot let you have a child for him says he just wants to take you out of the country just for fun but even the out of the country where have you guys traveled outside you are just lover if that is what people don't know me i know and i'm going to out you this is the reply that um, Lizzie and Jorin has given here about you. Now, let's go to the very beginning. What started this chaos A few days ago, Ia Bojo went on Instagram live. The thing is, she's not in Nigeria at the moment. She's been moving from London to Canada. And she's been having fun while at it. And she's, she's staying with another of Jack's senior colleague, Lola Lao, while in Canada. So she was in Canada trying to advertise Lola Lao's business. Um, and she was also with Fola Tinubu. Fola Tinubu is the ex-wife of Mr. Lawa, who is Mr. and Lizzie and Jeremy's current husband. So she was with Lola Lao and with Fola Tinubu and advertising their business. She now said that, oh, um, these business women should go on Facebook and advertise their business that the way Facebook you know, vendors advertise. And she you know, used a style that seems to be similar to how Lizzie and Jeremy advertises her business when she's on live on Facebook before she moves it to Instagram. And she was like, people on Facebook life are just trying to look for money in by all means and it's actually not good. You know, she was just making that, um, she was mimicking, you know. And a lot of persons were just laughing. And it just seemed like, oh, she's just catching cruise because, of course, Yabojo has been referred to as TikTok queen in Nigeria. So she was just, you know, being a goofy self. But apparently, the bullet met and hit Lizzie and Jeremy. And so she reacted. Although in the comment section, some persons were like, oh, Yabo, you are, you are looking for trouble because, you know, Lizzie and Jeremy, she's going to take this as a direct hit. Although Yabo did also mimic some other, you know, vendors. But it seemed more like the style that Lizzie and Jeremy um, does her business um, marketing. So, Lizzie and Jeremy tr truly, truly saw that video and took it personal and sat down and went on Instagram live to call out Yabojo. Now, I know that when Yabojo did her own live, she didn't mention names. So, Lizzie and Jeremy also did the same thing. She didn't mention names. She just said that, oh, some people, all about threesome, that is people who just, you know, have um, threesomes, you know, and that's how they make money. They sleep with men just to make money now think they can come and ridicule some of us that have genuine business people like us that have good homes she also went ahead to say that iabo Ujo is behind all the break in every yoruba actress's uh, marriage from funke akinele that she even tried to break up mercia Igbe and her new husband kazima Adoti. but i thank god that i mean mercy has decided to stick stick by this man regardless of whatever smear and you know whatever thing people try to say negatively negatively about our union because of my Dossi. she also said that she herself lizzie would have been out of her husband's house because of yabo's um interference in that marriage now she's a very evil person and that that she's just lover well at least she's the one feeding just lover news that's why they have some close relationship you know just lover used to refer to yabo as as, as their wife you know 
saying that Yaba will go sleep with politician they go to events they sit them strategically where you know politicians are, that they've pimped them out to we sit by them and then at the end of that event they go home or go to the hotel with that politician have sex with them and they make money off it these are the things that lizzie and jeremy alleged about Yaba ojo she said so many other things actually it didn't just stop there you know she she went as far as you know involving apostle Suleiman, went as far as involving all of the businesses that iabo has done on instagram saying that she tries to have a food um place at mala joints they said they saw live um saw rats in her food she tried to prepare soup the same thing he met with nuts that all of our businesses are failed and she has nothing to show for whatever thing she says she's been doing in the industry for so many years only for her to be sponsored by a man and even this man that she says she has found as a you know lover is not even proud of her you know among other things now lizzie said that and said people should better tag the person that she's intending to see the video yabo joe of course you no know, that has, that meant yabo joe should see it so yabo joe also now went on video so you know when she was a lot i was saying she's really tempted to be a bad black bonnet if you don't know about the black bonnet if yabo joe wants to drag you she's in a house wearing she wears these glasses with a black bonnet and then she goes on instagram li live and then she just says horrible things about you so la 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 was like don't wear bonnet though please be respectful of yourself be respectful of your status be respectful of course of the man that you've publicly you know um announced to the world be respectful of him even if you don't respect anybody don't be like some persons who don't respect their husband so yabo Oja has taken to using her instagram page to you know make some um comments that is not directed but you will know that this is for lizzie and Jorin, without tagging lizzie and Jorin. she refers to lizzie and Jorin as a lizard saying that some people don't even they're not supposed to stay where she's standing referring to the lizard that is um lizzie and Jorin. she posted different things that oh you're about to see a movie and that movie is the end is not anytime soon because Lizzie and Jeremy is just a lizard. She's just a stupid person. She will gambia. Ola ye ex convict. Only for some salty. Only panda waro waro. I don't know how to pronounce this one. Olo won gono olo bola. Train smell lo. Ya wako oni mo emo ele. Kwa eke jigolo of Africa. Oni da mask ki gon. Oko we reala sho bling bling. Lai of our time. Dije wa eke mule jo. Ala bi sin wyo ni update to fo. Ele je ek bono oni ibele no shukuti. Wa fe la. She's a British actress, and he says she's the producer. And she's cruise, you know. You know, she just says she just keeps saying that she's just cruise. She's just catching cruise. Well, some of our followers are like, see, yeah, but you've said you want to be keeping quiet for people dragging you why not just keep quiet for this lady? That Lizzie has been trying to pick fights with Iabo Ojo for a very long time. That so Iabo should not, you know, should not um feed into it and not just give Lizzie something to talk about because she's always been on life having problems with people for a very long time among other things so <laughs> this drama is going to continue because the album also has responded um lizzie has responded so as this drama unfolds i'm going to bring you all of the gist but of course now we've established what caused it and we've established the extent to which these guys have dragged themselves so by the time they start going name calling when it gets juicier you don't want to miss it so subscribe to this channel because i'm going to bring you all of that gist don't leave it. Keep it locked here. Yeah. Subscribe, turn on notification bell so you don't miss it as they ought to be bringing it to you. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for now. I'm going to see you in the next one. Take care of yourself. Subscribe, like, and share this video. Bye.